What's going on, coach? How are you doing? Hey, real quick, do you struggle with practice? Well, if you do, what we're going to cover today is one thing that you can do that you can implement in your practices and you can see results right away. All right. And also what I'm doing right now is I am actually, I've got new software we're streaming this together, baby, so we can uh, make sure that everything looks and sounds all right. So if this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. Let me tell you what it's all about. Football. We talk about offense, defense, special teams, any and everything that has to deal with football, we talk about right here on this channel. So if you like it, look how fancy this is. Boom. Right there. Go ahead and subscribe and do all of that fun stuff. What we're going to talk about is practice. And if you're just joining me, welcome. Uh, go ahead and put it in the comments, please, that where you're from, where you're calling in from, because I am trying out all this software where this is kind of like a testing ground along with practicing and how to get better at football. I get asked a lot, Coach, how do you structure your football practices so that you're getting everything in? And that is a great question to ask. What we do is we make sure, and this is something you need to do, everything has a sequential order for why you are doing something. What do I mean by that? Well, do your drills, do they align up with your group? Do they align up with what you're running and calling that day? Do you have a purpose for that day where you're calling? Like, are you going to be, for example, air raid? Is it a four verts day? Is it a Y stick day? Is it a corner day? What day is it for your practice? If you are a wing T, is it a buck day? Is it a belly day? Is it a... I don't know what else, down day. If it's a flex bone, is it inside a veer? Is it outside veer? What day is it? Because then you have to structure your drills along with what periods you need in your practice. That's one of the great things about being a system. You have those things in place. Now, if you have an offense that is just all wheelie-neely, and you're just grabbing plays all over the place, it's very difficult to set up your structure and practice. You can't do that. You have to get better at you know, structuring everything from scratch. Whereas if you go into it as a offense, whether it be air raid, run and shoot, wing T, or any of those things, you can see a way to structure practice. So the very first thing, this is the simplest thing to do. Pick something you want to get great at, and then that's all you're going to do. Emmanuel, what's going on, man? Look at that. Look, you are the man. I have it right there. I see it. I love the icon. Again, I am just talking about practice. I have a whole new streaming setup that I'm trying to get right before Kurt Warner comes on on Monday. So make sure that you you do that. All right. So let's. See. Oh man, I don't want to do that. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to switch. So let's just say, for instance, we're an air raid team. This is what we do we are going to structure our time for this one practice. So I'm going to share my screen right here. And let's say we are going to be working, and this is what we've done. We pick a run, we pick a quick game, and we pick a drop back. So the run for that day is going to be counter. All right. Let's say the quick game, y'all know me, I love stick. And then let's say the drop back, for this day, let's say it is going to be Y cross. So what that means is I'm going to structure. This is the focus for that practice. I want to get great at counter. I want to get great at stick. And I want to get great at Y cross. That is the only thing we are focusing on for this practice. What do we do? We build everything around those three plays. So if I'm going to have, I need a period, right? So what we do is the first 10 minutes, we're doing pat and go and settle up. So five and five, okay? Within this now, my quarterback's going through and settle up. He's going through his progressions for the stick and the Y cross before he throws it. Then when we go pat and go, he's going to be working on the hitch because we're working on stick, and that also helps with the wide receivers. We are going to be working on slants because that is a part of the backside of stick. And then we're going to be working on the vert, which is with the stick and the Y cross, the first read. That is how everything is doing right there. For the offensive line, they're going over their stance and starts. And what they're focusing on for the stance and the starts, their footsteps and everything, they're focusing on the counter because they know that the only thing they're going to be doing today besides pest setting is counter. 
after that, we go over 10 minutes of RPO drill. This is something that we do. Counter footsteps. Okay? Is everybody with me so far? What this is doing is, again, we are building upon what we want to do. So, pat and go, settle up. We're working on um, reads for the quarterback. He's getting his progression in. We're working on catching. We're working on throwing the same throws he is going to use in the practice. We're doing that with pat and go. And then the offensive line then is starting with the stance and starts, alignment, all of that stuff, the fundamentals. Next, we're going the RPO counter drill, which is I am giving them a read, the quarterback, the running back, and our wide receiver when we're doing the RPO. We are going to be given a read. We're going to be given a footwork and aiming points for the running backs. And my quarterback is learning who he's going to read and all of that stuff. This is what we are doing right now. Over here, the offensive line, they're probably working on combos right here. Because everything goes together. We are working on this because we have an overarching goal. The goal for this day, goal, is all of these things. So every single drill that we do, every single team script that we call, all of that stuff is going towards this right here. All right. After this, we would probably have 15 minutes of routes on air. Routes on air. Air. All right, and I see some questions that's going on. Coach Dom, what's going on, man? Thanks, always, Coach. See you in the weight room, Dom. I'm trying to get like you, man. I'm trying to get my weight up. I'm trying to get my my hustle. I see you hustling out there for the pipes and everything like that and houses. You're my inspiration, buddy. All right, uh, William asks, what is this type of practice plan for preseason, or do you use it for the game to game during the season? Great question, William. Um, both. So then once we get into the season – I'm trying, I have things that I want to hit up. And usually we break it up into positions of the field. So like Monday would be third down. Tuesday would be red zone. We're working on open field both days because that's always the thing. But really in practice, you should be working on third downs. You should be working on goal line. So Monday, third down stuff and and backed up. Uh, Tuesdays, we'll be working on red zone and going in. Because those two correlate Wednesday, we're hitting up everything. We're going from uh, one end zone to the other all the way down and back. Thursday, we will clean up anything that we think that we can do. And then Friday, boom, this is what we do. Uh, within that, though, we're still using this same structure right here. What is our goal? What is the goal for the run? What is the goal for the quick game? What is the goal for the drop back? Now, maybe the drop back, we may have two. A quick game may have two. And, and run, we try to stick with one because we don't have that many runs in the package, but that's what we're trying to do right there. All right, great question. Uh, Miami says, what's up, long time? Yes, sir, how are you doing? Uh, doing all right. All right, let's see. Emmanuel, uh, is this based on only your six-play principle? It is. There's sometimes that we have more, sometimes less. So, I mean, if, for instance, let's say if you are a run first, you know, you have your run, then maybe you have a counter off of that. Everybody has a quick game. Everybody has a drop back. So you can structure this, and that's the beautiful thing. If you go look at any system, they have this. You need to have a system. If you don't have a system, you're you're going to be in trouble. You're just kind of just freely just grabbing stuff and putting it together. But have a system. So runs, maybe you don't have – maybe you only have one or two quick games, but you have more runs. Well, then you can fit that in the run portion, maybe run two of them. Counter and power, maybe those two go together hand in hand. And then you limit the quick game and the drop back game. It depends on what you do, but I really believe that you need to have a core group of plays. Don't run that many plays and get great at them. Don't be mediocre at a bunch of different plays. So that's a good question, uh, Emmanuel. So after this, in the routes on air, we're working on stick and wide cross. And depending on game plan, we will run it from different things. So let's say this week's stick, we want to run it out of two by two and out of three by one. Well, those are the only two ways we're going to run stick, so that's what we're going to do routes on air. Let's say for a Y cross, we want to do it at a two back, and we want to do it at an empty. Well, that is what we're going to work on during those routes on air. And we get everybody. This is wide receivers. This is running backs. This is quarterbacks. And then let's say over here for the OL, we're working on pass pro, pass pro or blitz pickup. I'll just put pass pro. 
and they're working on any of the blitzes that we think we will see during the game. And that's where uh, Sundays come in, where we're breaking down and doing everything like that. But again, notice how they work hand in hand. Then after that, I'm just going to put down uh, 30 minutes, okay? And this is just team stuff. What I mean by that, if we want to go inside, we'll go inside for 10 minutes, then we'll do seven on seven for 10 minutes, and then we'll do um, team for 10 minutes. Or maybe we only want to work 15 minutes of seven on seven and 15 minutes of team. And within that, if we do seven on seven, then team, I'm using a little bit more runs and RPOs and maybe screens, if we're going to call those. That is a way that you can circumvent everything and work it all together. So, I mean, as you can tell, that's a little about an hour, 30, 30, that's an hour and five minutes that we can get everything in that we want to get in. And then this is everyone. So the offensive line is working together. So they're with us. But right there, that is how we work everything together. It all fits in. And the main simple thing, again, is you've got to have a goal. What is the goal for your practice? That's the overarching principle. That is the one thing that will help you. You have to have a plan of attack, what you want to do, why you want to do it, what do you want to get better at, and then you can work backwards there. It's kind of like that old that thing in education, backwards by design. What is your end goal? Work backwards from there. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments if this is anything. Again, I appreciate you being here. This was a uh, spur of the moment. Trying out new software, trying to get everything looking right. I have everything. I mean, this is this stuff is amazing. I can push a button, boom. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Also, if you haven't, follow me on Twitter. That is my Twitter handle. Uh, you can reach me there as well. And guys, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure. The tickets go are on sale right now to book your seat for the Summit. I have an offensive score at Will Summit. It's in the description down below. That closes on April 8th. We've got a bunch of big hitters that are coming to speak and all that stuff. So grab that. And until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun. I will see y'all later.